Hey everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of Leo's Preppers Network. Now, as I have stated in my last videos, the goal of this channel is uh, to help everyone be an efficient prepper. Um, you know, whatever the case may be, if, you, if there's a natural disaster or if there's an emergency SHTF type scenario, um, this is just to um, provide you uh, with the knowledge and information uh, that you need to be an efficient prepper. So today's video, we're going to be doing a deep dive into one of the portable power stations that I have. It's the Jackery 2000. Um, there, uh, and before you know, I get any further, quick disclaimer: um, Jackery did not sponsor this video. I am not paid by them. Uh, um, these units were purchased using my own money. Um, so this is a complete unbiased review um, and, and not to put any other brands uh, in the dark, but there's a lot of great stuff out there. Um, not just Jackery, there's Gold Zero, Blue Eddy, Titan. So, you know, please do your own due diligence. Uh, make sure you look at the reviews, um, you know, unbiased reviews like the one that you're watching right now on YouTube. And then kind of make your uh, own calculated decision, right? So again, as I've stated, I think every household should have some sort of portable power station because you just never know when the grid is gonna go down. Uh, and and uh, some of these units are so high in demand right now that you'll be surprised that this uh, particular unit, Jackery is st still sold out of them. They're, they're, these are um, still on back order. Um, now, my last video when I did the full unboxing um, about a month ago, you know, it still says on the website, hey, um, at the time of the city video, again, that Jack Ree is expecting a, sh a shortage um, because of high demand. So in the interim, what they have done is they have, um, on, on Jack Ree Day, early in March, in addition to this 2000, they also released Jack Ree 1500, which is basically the, the 1500 that has, you know, that, that has 50, 1500 watts, right? Um, so... That's sort of like in between the 1000 and, and the 2000, uh, and that's also a great investment, folks. So, and at the time of this video, again, um, Jackery is running promotion uh, promos on there on those. Uh, so, on Amazon, I think it's going for 1439, which is about 160 dollars off the regular price of 1599. And the Jackery 1000, which I bought it for 999, uh, for about thousand. You know, about about a year ago, um, this was actually one hundred and fifty dollars off, so it's going for eight fifty. So pretty sweet deal. So just want to throw some numbers out there that way, you know, you have something to do an apples to apples comparison to other brands. Um, you know, in terms of uh, the pricing and features and whatnot. Um, so before uh, we get any further, I do want to say one thing that. In today's video, um, we'll also be doing a demo. So I'm going to be plugging this unit in um, to my appliances, like a refrigerator, a Keurig coffee machine, a toaster oven, and we'll be sh uh, sharing those results in real time. That way you will have some accurate data to look at and compare. Now, as I said in my last video on these two, that I did say that I'll, be continu I'll continue to do some tests on on the Jackery 2000, um, you know, and how it compares to the 1000, and why am I not surprised? Because uh, whatever the 1000 could do, uh, 2000 is basically double that. So you know, 1000 watts, 2000 watts, you get the point. For example, uh, the fridge, refrigerator, uh, the full size one that I have by LG, uh, the 1000 were uh, was able to run it for about 11 hours, 23 hours on the 2000. So a little less than an hour. And again, the, um, the refrigerators, they, the way they work is if, if the compressor is not um, on at all times, it won't draw peak power. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be uh, steady. And then once the compressor is on, and then it's gonna go up, fluctuate, and it's gonna draw more power. So that's how, um, you know, that's how you can get more, um, more more use out of your refrigerator, especially if it's an if it's an energy uh, energy efficient um, refrigerator. So um, 
Now I'm going to be t taking you guys uh, to a real quick demo, so please stay tuned. All right, folks, so here it is. Um, as you can see, we've got this Jackery 2000 portable power station. Uh, I've got a surge protector that's plugged into this, and if you see on the back, um, you pretty much see these wires. Um, so on the surge protector, I have got my full-size refrigerator uh, by LG. It's a pretty smart, energy-efficient refrigerator. I've got a Keurig coffee machine. Um, I've got a Hamilton Beach uh, toaster oven. And on the back, I've got, also got a 700 watt microwave oven. So if I were to look at this display, you know, right now it's only drawing about 23 watts. Um, probably because the compressor is not on right now. So as you can see, uh, it's basically saying that it will keep this um, refrigerator running for about 41 hours. Now, as, as I said before, um, you know, whenever the compressor will peak, um, you know, it's, it's going to draw a lot more power, so that number is going to go down. But so let's try to increase the draw. So what we can do here is I'm going to be um, making some coffee. So as I've stated in my last videos, anything that requires el that uses electricity to generate heat uses a lot more power. So let's say if I were to brew some coffee here. So now we're kind of uh, pushing, the, we're actually drawing about 600 or 1100 watts, right? So that's how you can tell. And I've also got some bagels here that we can use a toaster oven. So now if you notice, it's gotten up to 2000 watts, right? So it now it came down. So as you can see, it's kind of fluctuating here and there. So now what I'm able to do is I'm able to run all these devices and I haven't even turned on my microwave yet. So let's say if I were to um, turn the microwave oven, sorry, let me just plug that in. Let's see. Okay, so that's plugged in. Uh, if I were to just turn this on, there's some popcorn inside. Um, again, if I were to get back on the display, oop, it's actually jumped to 3,000 watts. So, um, came back down to 2,000. So as you can see, you know, it does have a peak more than 2,000 watts. Um, so yeah. Uh, this is I hope this kind of gives you a good picture um, you know of what the what Jackery can do so I'm going to get back in the studio so I hope the, that demo um, did give you a good perspective of what these units are capable of um, you know and the, the appliances that were plugged in um, refrigerator, coffee machine, microwave oven, toast, toaster oven, those are all essentials, right? So in case of a power outage, you know, we want to make sure that we have um, our refrigerators running because food can get spoiled, right? We don't want that. And a microwave is like, you know, it's a necessity, right? So, you know, anything if you want to boil, like warm water or something, anything like that, you know, or cooked food, microwave is definitely a go-to. And the same thing with the toaster oven, uh, you know, if you want to hey, have some bagels or, um, you know, have a toast, you know, you definitely want, you can use that. And it's the same thing goes for a coffee. I'm a coffee person. I can't uh, imagine my mornings without coffee. So, so again, those were some of the appliances that I think most people do need, in, you know, in, in, if there's a power outage. So um, now some of the other stuff like a television, probably not going to be using it like I have a 65 watt that's probably well I'm not going to be running that into the jackery if there's a power outage so you want to make sure that you prioritize what electronic units or appliances go into these uh, so that way you're conserving power as well
So um, having said that, uh, I hope uh, everyone liked the content um, of this video. And, and I know uh, if, there, if there are some questions, please uh, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, you know, if, if there's any other um, videos that you like me to do or any other appliances that you would like me to test in real time, uh, also please let me know. I'm just curious to find out. That way I can do a follow up video. Um, so that's it for today, folks. Um, you know, I hope, um, you know, again, this, I hope my videos are useful to you all as you guys, uh, some of you guys may be looking at, you know, being an efficient prepper. So if you did like the con uh, content, please give me a like, thumbs up, uh, please subscribe to my channel, uh, as I will be doing more videos, not just on these portable power stations, but also on, um, the inverter generators that are coming on now, especially the dual fuel ones uh, that can be powered using propane or gasoline. Because in addition to these uh, clean portable power station, which by the way, you can run inside your house um, because you know they don't have any carbon emissions. But let's say if, if, there's, if it's a cloudy day and you can't get your solar panels to work, you've gotta have a plan B. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you in my next videos on how some of these inverter generators, especially the dual fuel ones that not only run on gasoline, but can also be powered using propane. So please stay tuned for more content. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please stay safe um, and um, have a great one. Thank you. Bye-bye.